It's comfy. Yeah, I get all that. Why can't you be on the floor and make it be comfortable? I don't know. We're going to record. Because for some reason, you can never just sit on the couch, Jim. I already hit record a little bit. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Friendly Film Perspectives. <laughs> we did it. Fuck up. <laughs> Of course not. I hope of course not. It was well, unintentional. Uh, <laughs> well, to this episode we're joined by a very special guest. A soon-to-be host of a podcast that we're working on. Known as Back to the Drawing Board. My sister, Jennifer Beretta. Hello. Jenny? Say hello. That's it? Well, how else am I supposed to say? Well, no, it's fine. I don't know, do you like long walks on the beach? Do you I like pina like coladas. Do you get caught in the rain, though? I don't like getting caught in the rain after what happened last time. Well, Jenny, um, since this is your first episode on the new direction of Friendly Film Perspectives, you will be subjected to whatever film Matt is going to have to watch today. <laughs> I already know what it is. Yeah. I've been wanting to see it. <laughs> I don't know what it is. <laughs> All right. Have you been wanting to see it, Jen? <laughs> yeah, this one. All right. But before we go into that, I want to ask you both a question. Yeah. What is a cult classic? In your eyes, what would be considered a cult classic? Something that wasn't really popular when it first came out in theaters, but after a while it got a large fandom and became popular to those. Well, thank you, Jenny. You took the words right out of my mouth. (laughs) I know what cult classic is. Yeah, I was basically going to say the same thing, just not as extensive. Mm -hmm. Uh, Hi. (laughs) Is there any cult classics that you guys feel a part of? Like an horror picture show. Oh, of course, that's a given. Um, I want to say Hocus Pocus. Oh, I like Hocus Pocus. Hocus. Yeah. What about? Dropped it for that one? Out, kind of, yeah. Out the duck, yeah. <laughs> You're right. Um, well. I'm probably one of like a hundred people that actually enjoy it. Adorado? Adorado, yeah. Oh, Big Lebowski. You're part of that one. I like that one. The fun cult to be a part of, because all we do is go bully. <laughs> also, you're your Howard the Duck cult. Angelique. You guys can't see, but I'm flitting my arms around. That's why we waited till the end of Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> Her reaction was, oh, what? Oh my god, why? <laughs> Well, oh, no. Jenny Don pretty Blue? much, Jenny fucking hit the, oh, Don Bluff, yeah. You hit that nail on the head, though. Uh. The co- <laughs> I asked you what the question, I asked the question, and you uh. just get the answer, it's like, oh, okay, we're done. What, you guys think I don't know what co-classic is? No, we expected you to know what it was, but we just didn't expect you to go all extensive. Oh, so well, sorry. anyway, allow me to turn on the TV. Just close your eyes. Classic? Just close your eyes. I'm gonna just keep eye contact. Yeah, because I need to see something. Maybe they fuck up. Matt, look at the screen. Is it? Who is that? <gasps> it hurts. What are you doing? Well, who's that? Jim Henson. Jim Henson. Are we watching Dark Crystal? <coughs> Let me go on first, fucker. Jim Henson was a fascinating man, as you can see right there. Yes. He created the Muppets. He helped bring Sesame Street to children and believe in imagination. Yes. Him, along with Walt Disney, Steven Spielberg, and Hayao Miyazaki changed the landscape of family entertainment. Yet Henson wanted to do other things. In the 80s, Henson wanted to create high fantasy tales of whimsy and wonder. And in 1982, audiences got a chance to see it in... The Dark Crystal. No! Oh God! Have you seen it? Yes. Creepy puppets everywhere. Directed by Henson and famous puppeteer Frank Oz, Crystal changed the scope of storytelling by making a whole film reliant on animatronics and puppetry. To tell its unique tale of Jed, an elf like Gelfling, on a quest to restore balance to his alien world by returning a lost shard 
to a powerful but broken gem. Thank you, Wikipedia, for that summary. What? <laughs> I had time to look it up. <laughs> the film was considered dark, even though it was billed as a family film, paving the way for such films as The Rarely Story, The Goonies, and, you know, Hinton's later film, Rapperins, as, you know, has given both being badass. It was also the 16th highest grossing film of 1982. The same year E.T. came out, mind you. Huh. So, Matt, you've seen this movie before. Yeah. I've yeah, never I, seen uh, The Dark Crystal. Jenny, have you ever seen The Dark Crystal? Nope. I'll judge you by your reaction. I didn't like it. Yeah, did bad now, is it? Well, we don't know yet, because we haven't seen it. <coughs> no, I, I uh, Liz wanted to watch it, and I was like, alright, fine, we'll watch it. I, well, I, I regret everything. I've never seen The Dark Crystal. So, Matt, you're going to watch The Dark Crystal for a second time? Matt, <laughs> are you ready? Hold on. Yeah. Are you sure? No. To your very reaction, you really don't want to go through with this. But the movie. No choice. But the movie is only an hour and thirty minutes. The only. <laughs> <laughs> That's 90 minutes! <laughs> 10 minutes of credits, probably! Oh god, it's Spider-Man 1 all over again. <laughs> are you ready? As much as I'll ever be. Jenny, are you ready? Sure. I think we're ready. Alright, we're going to be watching The Dark Crystal. We'll be back with our reactions after. And we hope Matt will be alive by the end. I mean, it's good, but I would tell you the same thing I texted my girlfriend. It's good, but it's not. So that was a movie. So that was a movie, pretty much, yes. Uh huh. Of Jennifer. <laughs> yeah. What do you have to say? What? She fell asleep throughout the movie because she thought it was what? 
boring as fuck. Boring as fuck. How many times did I wake her up? Like seven times? Kinda, yeah. I hope so too. I'll be watching that a second time. Uh, kinda wish that wasn't on the list. I know. But, um... Just to round up the thing, the thing we said at the beginning is like I think the closest he could get to a simple talk, the simple condensed version of what the hell the plot is, because there is a lot of crap going on. Yeah, and then at some points there's not really much more. Yeah, it's a, it's, there's a lot of pacing problems, it's just elongated. Like, scenes go on that should not be going on for a long time. It's like, hey, this two minute scene's actually pretty good. Ten minutes of walking. Yep. I mean, yes. We could probably compare that to Lord of the Rings. But at least there was, you know, there were plenty of scenes where there was dialogue going on or fighting. Yeah, I mean, at least there was stuff that was keeping you interested. There's long stretches where it's just nothing much going on and... It, I mean, it looks pretty, because the production, oh. like you said, that's a good Yeah, yeah, the, the production value is great on it. Yeah, it's fantastic, but, I mean, just because you have high production values doesn't make it a great movie. Yeah. Or, mm-hmm. I mean, it's good, don't get me wrong, but it's not my cup of tea. Not, not my cup of tea. I was about to ask you the question, what would you have wanted to watch but more? Labyrinth. Labyrinth? Even though those weird puppets in the forest freak me the fuck out when they start taking apart their bodies? I would have rather watched that. Uh-huh. No, I'd rather, rather watch that. Sorry if I'm offending all you people that actually like this movie. Well, I mean, that is your opinion. This movie just was it. But what he liked. How can you touch any? You were asleep for like more than half of it. If I have to fall asleep in a movie, that means I definitely don't like it. <laughs> I have fallen asleep in movies, but was still able to wake up and enjoy it, like The Amazing Spider-Man 2. No. I fell asleep in some of it, but I still enjoyed it. Now, what do you... <coughs> I mean, comparing it to Labyrinth, which was later, what do you think made Labyrinth and your uh, so in general, better than this? Music. I have one name. What? And one name only. Bowie. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I am resisting the urge to sing out of every song It was a music for me. Music? I thought it was the story, because the story... Oh no, I kept getting lost every now and then, and Liz had to keep explaining things. For a labyrinth? Yeah, because I kept forgetting. You kept forgetting? At least that's what I recall. Most of the simple <laughs> version is... She has to find a kid. That's it. She's going through a labyrinth full of yeah. twists and turns. But, but, I mean, there people have interpreted it as you know, it's supposed to be her coming of age, and that she has to avoid the temptation of a man. I mean, think about it. I, it, it I had no idea. Yeah. Well, think about it. In that one scene where she's in the dress, he's seducing her. The song, the music, the beautiful dress, the people around. Yeah, there was an episode of uh, Welcome to the Basement I was watching, <coughs> and they said, like, any girl growing up should watch Labyrinth because of that. He's he's seducing her. He's Her pa- her main point is the path to get the kid. He's seducing her away from that path. Uh-huh. But I think there was just more... It was more streamlined, and there, there wasn't much. There wasn't many scenes that just stretched. Like, and then the characters were interesting, and you weren't bored with them. And yeah. like, who's this? Who's this? I mean, that, I think that was also a problem in this movie because I didn't know what was <coughs> what the name of shit was. Mm. I, mean, I mean, the only two characters I got were the master, Jen, and Kira. Who the hell was everyone else? So two characters in your name, and you pretty much said no, three. No, three. Sorry. Yeah. Okay, four. There was like <laughs> Chamberlain. I don't know. But the thing with the villains, they also kind of look all the same. Like the only way you could determine which clothing. one were different were, yeah, clothing. Clothing and who actually knew how to speak. 
True. Uh, during the scene where they're doing like the trial by stone, I that stupid. did not know what the fuck was going on. <laughs> Actually, uh, I think um, there was something similar to that in that newer version of the Thundercats. Oh, okay. Yeah, but it, but instead of it being a trial, it was just to like test you the better. Like, I think it was. Uh, Test what warrior strength was the best for some shit. Mm-hmm. I think Lionel actually chopped the stone in half. But I mean, so fucking weird. It's a it's not a hard movie to talk about. There's a lot of things I really want to talk about. There, they, like there's potential for it to be great. Like, like you said, it's good, but there's potential for it to be. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that if someone were to rewatch it several times and cut out like 20 minutes of scene that doesn't need to be there, it'd probably be a great movie. Because it, it lingers on it. There is a lot of very interesting designs, like the beetle, whatever the beetle. Beetle thing crabs. Was. Yeah, the, the, the crab beetles. Those are neat. At first, I was like, shit, that looks terrifying. And then, like, just seeing how no, the curvature is. Did you think it was some sort of spider at first? Yeah, that's why I freaked out a bit. I was like, oh, no, no spiders. <laughs> Can't do this shit. Uh, all right. <laughs> I was just like, look at so that shit's hilarious. <laughs> In a bad way. I guess. I don't know, I haven't seen it since. I only saw it once, and I don't remember anything except for using a taser to ignite some sparks in a mine and then it blowing up. <laughs> That's all I remember. Yeah. <laughs> but, I don't know. Uh, yeah, the one, the book one creatures that look creepy were the ones with the, just the black eyes. They're supposed to be cute and interesting, and it's just like, dude. The, the, the cabbage off. patch troll thing? Yes! Oh, well, they're not creepy. They're like dead eyed. They were even creepier after the whole little essence extraction thing. Because all the ones yeah. that they all the ones that those weird creepy dudes had around them, their eyes were all glossed over. Yeah. Them. And then they show you that when it's going through the extraction, it's just terrifying, it's just shaky. And then what were they doing? They were extracting just what out of that? Their essence. Their essence? To feed off of. Jesus fuck. I was like, is that two things that came to mind? It's either sweat or piss. <laughs> it's both. Then he said essence. I was like, oh no. So it's probably like most likely supposed to be close to sweat. But that scene also reminded me of uh, the machine in the Princess Bird. Ah. Oh. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> that's a fantasy movie I like. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> you still need to watch it all together. Yeah, I still need to watch. Oh, the that's West. what they called. I haven't. This is what they called. What are they called? Oh, the Garth though. Oh my God, there's a Wikipedia page of every character. Wow. Jesus Christ. Crystal to... bats. Oh yeah, I forgot. Crystal bats. Well, they they mentioned the name of the crystal bats. I don't yeah. recall hearing the name. No, of I forgot the, the name of the bats. Crystal bats. I just like during that one part. It's all animated, and I said, look at the crap. <laughs> then at the end, when they're talking to the fucking beings that are finally won. Yeah. Wow. Look at that editing. <laughs> <laughs> it's like over the damn thing. <laughs> it's horrible. It's, it's like they recorded the fucking puppets in front of a live screening of the movie. Uh, so this that, that brings me to my next question, Matt. Why do you like not like puppets? Well, it's not that I don't like puppets entirely. I love the Puppet Master movies, but well, that's the Muppets. Yeah, I love the Muppets, but it's just puppets of that of that texture and quality <coughs> in this movie that I don't like. It freaks me out sometimes. So yeah, like the puppets in live with. <laughs> Okay, most of the puppets I could deal with, except for those ones that were taking the body support. Quit it! Why did you know they were taking the body the, support? During the fire dance scene. Fire dance? Yeah, they were red, and they were going... Oh! They were popping around. 
Oh, uh, okay. Well, that was scary. Yeah. Uh, that's scary. Never mind. Yeah, how do you think I felt watching it for the first time? Yeah, let's watch it again. What, what interesting, like, part that was scary, that was, like, kind of creepy in this movie was, um, at the beginning when they see, like, the old emperor, and he's just decomposing in front of them. Oh, yeah. It's just like... He was going to get a word out, but then that happened, that was scary. <laughs> yeah, it's like... It's like, <laughs> he died, he didn't say anything. Oh, oh that's shit. scary. <laughs> but... For the character designs and stuff, did you... Did you dig them, like... The way it looks and everything. Well, what was that, that Cinderella moment? And I'm not really sure. I mean, the, the, the way that they were made to look, it just kind of it, it was it was hard trying to figure out what kind of cross of like creatures they were trying to go for. Because they had weird ears that reminded me of uh, somewhat of a dog and a bat. Mm. But their face, um, I can't really figure out what the hell their face reminds me of. Their faces look pretty, they look interesting. The thing I couldn't, the thing I just didn't, like, I like how it looks, but the eyes are just, they look soulless. You mean how, like, they couldn't really go along with what the people were saying? Yeah. So it was pretty much a monotone face. Yes. Which, to talk about the monotone acting, as you said. Oh, yeah. A a good amount of it was monotone acting. Master, don't leave. (laughs) No, don't leave me. Why do you have, why do you have wings that I don't, well, it's because you're a boy. Sexist. There's like, no emotion in the care and like the two main characters it's like it feels bland it feels like a bland thing and what you need in order for like it As to be movie. is interesting characters to carry you especially in a fantasy movie especially yeah. with puppets puppets could do so many only yeah. so many expressions and that's, and that's the issue with the eyes i mean they're just they're so big and like yeah you can make a move and all that but your soul is that shit like you need to add something to it Kermit has more expressions than yeah. most yeah and this houses. fucking like just putting a hand and moving it around in the mouth with, that's like, all it is that's all that's all Kermit is and with, mu- no with puppets you have to get them expressions like I thought there was more expressions with the bag of, what the fuck are they called uh, uh skizzes crow things oh. they're called skizzes or is that like the main villain uh, I can't even pronounce what the fuck they are. Okay, well, they had more emotions. Yeah, they, because they and were they given more... So crea- they were given more creativity with them, because, you know, they have the big clothes, and they have mobile arms, and then their face, and you could just... Like, the eyelids were expressive and stuff. When they did, eye, like, move eyebrows and stuff for, like, you know, Jen or Kira, like, yeah, they were moving, but their eyes were still just... In that one fucking like. And we couldn't even make their voice. Don't ask to get out into fucking space. Because <coughs> they couldn't use their voice to make the expression more obvious. Yeah, because it like we said before. How'd you get that? It's just monotone. Oh my god, that's well, making more expressions shit. than ever. <laughs> that's pretty much how their face worked. Yeah. It was only this movie. Yeah, and the rest was just. Ugh. All of this right here, the center section. Yeah. No movement. Now, the thing is, this is Jim Henson's, like, first real breakaway from, like, you know, the Muppets and all that. Did yeah, you think, you, it, you think he would have put more work into the animatronics for the fucking faces? Yeah, but it's still... Oh, no, some, he has some puppets that they don't even have faces, and he can still work with it. Yeah. True enough. Like, Alma, Alma was just this big eye thing, and... Well, he didn't make that. That's oh, you know. History. You know what didn't he help with Sesame Street? Yeah, that's what I mentioned. He he did earn and he was Ernie and I think he was Grover. Also, but I don't know. He was Ernie and no, maybe I gotta look it up again. But because with those puppets, you have to use more than just a face. You have to use the body. Because they have their their eyes are above the head. <laughs> Bert has more expressions. Bert, yeah. <laughs> Bert. But Bert had eyebrows. <laughs> Bert's eyebrows are the shit, though. <laughs> They're so bushy. <laughs> he looks mad. He just looks like that. 
<laughs> yes, we're talking about Sesame Street. Yep. <laughs> we're talking about how Sesame Street has more livelihood than the movie we just fucking watched. No, we're no Elmo's the shit. Cause Elmo actually has emotion. Yeah, and he doesn't have much on him. It's just like a face. Like. Yeah, it's the same thing as Kermit. Like yeah, I have my brother somewhere in his head. Yeah, <laughs> they're somewhere there. Yep, even he has more expressions. Yeah, like that, I think that's my main problem. Like. Expressionless. Yeah, the j- boys, you know, boys. Fuck, make them likable. Like, don't make them boring. The whole movie was just this boring movie. And I fuck for fuck's sake, I like the Black Culture, which is on your list. That movie is considered boring by a bunch of people. But you know what? I go on. There's that. shit going on. <laughs> like, fuck, make a fantasy fantasy movies work if you have things. Going on. Yes. Lord of the Rings is a yeah. perfect example. It is. Yeah, you said it, er, you said yeah, it earlier. I mean, sure, walking breaks, whatever, but still they have other things going yeah. on at the same time. And then the movie I mentioned early, earlier in the intro, Never Any Story. Have you seen it? I I know I've seen one of them. Not my cup of tea. There is crap going on, though. That's the thing. I, uh, I mean, I mean, you can give another example of any other fantasy movie that you've liked. The fantasy movies have that. <laughs> that aren't Lord of the Rings or The Hobbit. <laughs> well, that still has Lord of the Rings in the title. I know. <laughs> Love the Hobbit. Book, uh, something will come in here. Yeah, <laughs> but it's just you can't bore like the people. But why do you think this movie like st- people still talk about it? Maybe it's the design of the other book. Yeah, it, 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 creepy. <laughs> yeah, some people are into that creepy shit. Hello, did you not see those hearts in my damn room? It mm. looked like the Moon Man from McDonald's. <laughs> Mac Tonight. <coughs> I will put a picture up right now. For Mac Tonight. Okay. You've never seen Mac Tonight? I... I don't know. <laughs> Anyways. So, yeah. Really, when it comes to movies, sometimes it's not even for the storyline. Like, what's a movie I don't like, but there's something about it I do like? Uh, no, I actually... There is one. There's a movie, I don't like it, but I like the music. I can't remember what it is. Hunchback? No, I like the Hunchback. Because, it was what? Was it animated or live action? I have a feeling it was animated. Wait, hold on one second. Oh, sweet Jesus, what the fuck is that? That's Mac Tonight. <laughs> you remember? That was a McDonald's mascot. Anyway, back to okay. your thing. I'm trying to figure out, Junior, what is it? I told you, there's a movie... I like, I say I hated the movie, but I like the music. Quest for Camelot? No, I, no. I generally kind of enjoyed Quest for Camelot. Please tell me it's not Secret of Nim 2. Oh, oh God. dear God, no! What the fuck? No! That's another fantasy movie. Secret of Nim? Yeah. Makes it. Okay, good. It, there's shit going on. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, love, like, I love Secret of Nim. In fact, I saw the VHS. Miss Brisby is interesting. Those characters are interesting, and it's short. I'm not gonna lie, when the movie was over, I wanted more. It's about as long as as Dark Crystal. To me, it felt short. Yeah. Because it, it's just so awesome. The more you watch, the shorter it feels. Yeah. yeah. But there's, you know, every character is interesting. There's at least, you know, give a shit. Well, except for Tim. Oh, fuck Timothy. Uh, <laughs> he, he barely even has speed the ball. Uh, All you did was, what? Just... I think it was I want to come outside Hi. That was about it yeah. Get it was, the fuck out Okay <laughs> That's how it was I think it was Babes in Toyland Babes in Toyland was I think one. was the one I liked the music I hated oh, God, everything that was else Oh that was a musical? The animated It was an animated one That came out in like 1997 I'll put a picture of it Yeah Oh, but you also have, oh, like, Cool World. A picture over. <laughs> That's another reason why it could be Cool World. Cool World, yeah. I don't like the storyline. It could have been better. I, I love the animation. 
I thought Babes in Toyland was live action. Isn't that with Drew Barrymore? There is that's, a, that's, a, that's from the 80s. 80s or 90s? I'm pretty no, sure I'm 90s because Drew Barrymore wasn't a child in this movie. Yeah. Then, yeah, early 90s. But there was another one you know who was animated. Have? Keanu. Whoa. 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 March of Soldiers. <laughs> Yeah. Picture of Keanu from Wings of <laughs> From Bill and Ted's Adventure. Whenever I say, Whoa. I like the, I like this picture cue thing though. <laughs> but it's hard. Ho- it's hard for me to like, you know. <sighs> I mean, the the only time I could say pacing like like Dark Crystal would be acceptable is if there was a shit ton of stuff going on, you know, that's just kind of heart-pounding and you yeah. need to take a break. Yeah. Harry Potter? Oh, yeah. Harry Potter there, there, does there, that. There were some parts in Harry Potter. Harry Potter does the pace, the take a break thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, there you go. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't think I saw that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, don't, don't, don't watch it. Yeah, it's I don't, terrible. I don't bother it. watching that. It, it, it terrible. Is very bad. Uh, I think the reason, like, that people still talk about it and stuff is like you know it's Jim Henson's first real effort to try and do something and there are people that are like oh well if we did it like he broke ground and all that but uh, you know how there's movies that are considered classics and you'll watch them and Rosemary and Baby? Huh? yes okay that's a good example like Rosemary's Baby I watched it considered I'm not, I'm not awesome that again. it's considered like Classic. I didn't like it. I thought it was weird. I was like, what the fuck did I think... Wait, how long is that movie? Because I swear, me and my sister were there for like three hours. <laughs> it's long. It's like two hours and a half. It's long. Trust me, it's long. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was your cousin. Oh. Thank but, but... You know, classic... The term, like, classic... You know... Yeah, it could still stand the test time in there, but some people can look at it years later and be like, there will be a certain set group of people that, what, how is this, you know, how is this considered one of the best? And then there's oh. this movie that's like a cult classic. Well, you have to think about it. It's also a nostalgia reason. Nostalgia. Think how many movies we saw. We still like them, but it's only because we watched them. Like, oh. I made that point when we watched the Baby Series Club. I probably would have been in love with it if I saw it when it came out. But see, as I never saw it when I was little, I saw it like a bazillion years later and I ended up hating it. Space Jam? Never watch the Flintstones movie ever again. <coughs> I, I don't think I even liked it. I don't think you with, should. <laughs> I, I don't, I'm not a Flintstones fan. I blood. unfortunately had to, I, I think I watched it with my niece. <coughs> and like, I was just sitting there with a grin on my face like, oh God, I am ruining my childhood. My yeah. inner child is slowly dying. And they're like, well, if it's for nostalgia reasons, yeah, That's another can, reason you can go too. back to it. Like, I still watch Space Jam. Oh, yeah. I, I can I can stand to watch Space Jam. It's not that great, but Wait, what's I still watch Space Jam. Grab the bridge. I feel like that. I have no idea what you're talking about. Is it a Fred movie? No. No! no. This came out in the 90s. It's baby kids. I don't know. In fact, the guy recently passed away, right? Yeah. Before Dark Def- oh, this year sucks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but. <coughs> with cult classic, that term is like. You know, can stretch really far because you have. I know we said at the beginning, like, our favorite, like, Big Lebowski, cult classic, but it is considered really, really good. But then there's movies like Troll 2, or The Room, or, what, Birdemic, that are considered that, and they're fucking awful. Like, they are shit. Like, there's, like... (laughs) Oh, man, I I can't believe I'm saying this, but I still need to finish The Room. (laughs) It's on my PlayStation if you want. <laughs> it's not the riff track. <laughs> I could find that. I need the riff track. Uh, I mean, sure, I was barely getting through the movie with them, but still. So, what are oh, what are your guys' what are the final thoughts on Dark Crystal? Let's mm-hmm. start with you, Jen. Yeah, I'm not watching that ever again. Okay. Unless Matt. I'm really, really tired, and I need something to make, put me to sleep. Yeah. Okay, Matt. I will watch it. 
I, I'm still in shock that I had to sit through that movie again. And on the second viewing? There were a couple parts that I didn't remember. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Did I go to the bathroom at this point? <laughs> uh, for me, I'm going to keep saying it again. It's good. It's just not for, like, everyone. And I'm in the everyone group. Because you can see a lot of potential. And... Uh, I, I mean, I can I can see why it might have been exciting back in the day, but you know, with all the movies that we've seen now, it's could it be that just being spoiled by probably not necessarily. I mean, I don't think so because I watch a lot of old school movies. And I still appreciate them. Well, that brings up another point, though. Like, if you if because we've. We're what? We're like in our early 20s, and we've seen a ton of movies. Mm-hmm. Is that, or we... S- ex- <laughs> I finally got a text from my friend, and she put one of the best Jim Henson movies ever. Oh my god. See it? She's one of those... <laughs> Muppet movie kick pass. Anyway. Oh. <laughs> um, you know, we're in our early 20s, and I've been... I've said this... Actually, this year to who? Well, when do we expect too much now? Now that we've seen almost everything. For example, we all saw the Avengers. Yeah, it's great. So come Comic Con time or anytime when they announce something, and we don't see it as big or as close to the Avengers, like, oh, it needs to be like that, is because we've already gotten, like, we already feel like we've gotten what we wanted, so there's no way to top it. Thing is, that's kind of sucks. <laughs> yeah, I, I want something new. I want something the same. If you're expecting it to be like this, you you probably are expecting something the same. You want the same thing. But then those are the same people who bitch about why is it like this. So so could that be our problem that since we saw Labyrinth and we watched this one, are we expecting too much? The thing is... It could be. I mean, we got to put in the factor of like other movies that have pacing that's a lot better. Thing is, you can't work with the movie. So, Think about it. I saw... There's one movie where it was slow and worked. It was when Let the Right One In. The original. The one from the other. Still, you that was see slow, that. Paid, slow paced, barely any dialogue. It was perfect. Yeah, but it, it kind of had some, somewhat of a bittersweet vibe going on. Right? I mean, I, I saw the remake, so I can only assume. No, I, I've, 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 seen I've never seen the remake. Okay. I saw the original, I mean, I'm and I liked sure. it. I'm, I'm being serious. Like, Hands Up the remake is exactly the same as the. Original. Okay, okay, so I, I don't have anything to fear about if I. Try and compare it then. Okay. Really? I haven't seen the one. Is it the same, like, little dialogue? Pretty much, yeah. I know, I like that. Do do not watch the the English version of Old Boy. Which one? Old Boy. She's never heard of it, so. Oh, well. If you ever hear anything of it, don't don't watch the English one. Oh, boy, what the fuck? Okay, that part of the podcast is that movie bombed terribly, so we're good. Watch the Korean one. Anyway, um, so is it a matter of just expecting us, expecting more? Well, thinking about it, yeah, that could be, that could be the reason why. So, yeah, I mean, I can kind of see why it could be, why it's considered a cult classic, but, you know, not seeing it when I was a child could be a heavy, you know, factor in this. Yeah. Well, that was the Dark Crystal. Uh, None of us, well, it's a giant mixed ball of stuff. I mean, we've already, we spent like a good 20 minutes just talking about this one movie. So I guess there is something to say for it. And honestly, Jim Henson is still. Yeah, still still pretty bitchy. Still one of the best. I mean, we still have Muppets. Yeah. It's great. Can I just choose? I don't want to choose. So, 
in honor of Jenny being our first guest, um, the soon to be. I think we should do this for the for our day. Let's we'll think about it because I don't want it to be like super the same. Oh um, no, we're not even telling anyone. We just picked because them up. Uh, uh, with your thing, aren't you guys going to be doing like movies that you have seen and yeah. haven't seen any? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This fr- friendly film like is like dog. <laughs> Seen that one? What? God, that's gonna be rough. Like dog? Came out a while back. Like dog. Oh my god. Yeah, we're watching Watership Down. <laughs> we should watch Watership Down again. All right. Because apparently that was a fucking family movie. Be, um. So since Jay is our first guest, and we're gonna be doing a back to the drawing board's finally gonna happen. Yay! Because I know how to pick how to make it this time. Um. Jenny is going to choose out of the fedora of justice. Keeping the name. <laughs> oh, oh God. The most gay. Fuck you. Fedora justice. What do you do? You guys wear fedoras. Dude, bros. Dude, bros. Which is why your brother doesn't wear this hat. <laughs> <laughs> Who's uh, crazy? Did pull this off his brain on Mars. <laughs> another, another. You mean still black Michael Jackson? Yes. Okay. Another tangent. Um, did you ever see that picture on Tumblr where someone got a can of Coke, two cans of Coke, and one says "dude" and the other says "bro" and they put them together so it says "share a can with share a can of Coke with the dude, bro." Oh God! <laughs> it's like the fucking funniest thing in the world. Nice. If I could, if I could find its place, if I get that's horrible picture here. <laughs> All right, so we're going to let Jenny choose out of the hat. And how this is going to work is that me and Matt won't know about it, but Jenny is going to have to do all the research, write down the introduction, and reveal it to us. Oh, God, I mean, a movie I've seen assholes did it. So... Wait, what movies have I seen that you guys haven't? Who knows? So... It depends. She pick one out of the hat, and if the thing does not sound familiar, you're fucked. <laughs> All right, so go, Jerry. Hi. Oh, I haven't seen this movie. You haven't? Uh, but I know the movie. I know the movie. Okay. I at least, I at least know this movie's existence. All right. All right. So what movie is it, Jerry? Or can you drop a hit? Well, you can give us three hints, and if, if neither of us can guess what it is, it's going to be a surprise. No, I think the only hint I could give will probably be right. Oh, okay. I only know one actor from it. Oh, okay. Actually, I don't know his name, but I know the actor. You know a character that they've played? No, I've never seen this movie. I've heard no, of I this I said movie. a character, not the character. I only know you... one character they played. Okay. But it gives it away, right? Okay, so Shit. join us next time on Friendly Film Perspective. So, as we end every episode, what, where can they find you? Uh, you can find me at oh hey look at that thing All right, Jenny, where can they find you? On your website. <laughs> <laughs> you will link everything because every time I say mine, everyone's just gonna put a fucking Y instead of a nine. And I'm pretty sure everyone spells Shantae with an S. I'll uh, link it Nazi. in the descriptions below. <laughs> <laughs> and don't forget descri- that... Are descriptions did- below next to the video or... Uh, below. Th- they, we can have... Well, the thing is, if it's on. small, it's on the side. If they, like, link it big, it's on the bottom. Okay, so can, can in the description... Say, can we say our thing, like, on the video and just have a link pop up when we say it? I think so, oh, yeah. Yeah. It's on the bottom below. Yeah, yeah. You can okay. have it on the bottom below, but you can also have click links on the bottom. Okay, video. see, that's yeah. just gonna take a long. Time. Oh, fuck it. Put below. Links everywhere. <laughs> it's gonna be Linkomania. Yeah, Linkomania. It's just gonna be a bunch of pictures of Link that all the links need. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> guess which link is the real link. <laughs> anyway, you could find Jennifer at, uh, what is it? Well, I switched my thing. Well, you can Jenny. find her at jennyshante.tumblr.com. Yeah, which is actually my personal blog, which right now is just a bunch of Instagram pictures because I haven't been yeah. on it for, since work. And on time. Twitter at Jenny Shante, right? So, all right, and you can find me at, you know, at... I have a lot of 
what is that? <laughs> at Serge Barrett on Twitter and then at over there on the Tumblr is at sergeburettumbles.tumblr.com. And on behalf of us all here at Fairly Film Perspectives, please, Master, don't go!